Welcome everybody. It is Tuesday live stamp and chat with Janie Backer on Inspired Stamping. And I'm really excited to ah, get my camera situated here. <clears throat> I'm trying to upgrade my technology and it looks good when I do the test run and then I actually start the live and it's all different. So funny, the Facebook um, platform for doing live video is changed in the last few days. And so even that uh, isn't what I was expecting to see. So I hope that you will chat with me in the comments. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I'm trying to get the comments up. And it says my frame rate is too low. I have no idea how to change that, Facebook. Oh, my heavens. Frame rate. I'm just not sure what, what that means. I hope it. Can you see everything? Let's see, I, uh-oh, are you still here with me? Okay. <clears throat> Just go ahead and leave a comment that says hello. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still coughing and congested. Last week I really couldn't talk much at all um, without coughing, so here we go back to routine. So Stampin' Up! launched some new products today, and I'm excited to share those with you. It is, well, I guess here's our host code for this month. If you're going to order online, then please use this host code. And... Um, that connects you to me. If you're ordering over $150, then you don't need my host code. You can be your own host. So this is our new stamps and dies called Here Together. And here for you. <clears throat> they um, cut these beautiful words that are here for you. And you matter. Then there is two sets of hands and a heart that go with this die set. So this bundle is available today. There's also <coughs> beautiful new blends in various skin colors. I'm sorry that there's so much glare on the packaging. Um, so they don't exactly have names, but they are um, Stampin' Up! 100, Stampin' Up! 200. Um, they are all numbered. This is a 1000 and a 900 for various colors. So these just launched today as well as Oh, here they are. <clears throat> this beautiful All Together Designer Series paper pack. And it is six by sixes, all black and white, uh, various patterns. They have, oops, where is it? These wonderful hands, different designs using hands. I thought there was another one in here. <clears throat> so there's hands. And then just graphic. Some leaves. And then nice big splotches. There we go.
So you'll have to let me know how this is showing up on your end because I keep getting warned by Facebook that my frame rate is too low. And bless my heart, I have no idea how to change my frame rate. <clears throat> Did not get that information in my training to be a mom or a demonstrator, but I'm going to have to learn about frame rate. So these are just awesome. You can color them with your blends. You can use your sponge jobbers on them. Obviously, you can use these amazing skin tones to make um, different hand colors, um, showing friendship with various skin tones to reflect you and your friends, me and my friends. So, I hope you'll check this out. Here together is sold as a bundle. Um, but separately as a stamp set, it's 158634. The paper is 160039. <clears throat> and the Here For You Dies is 159278. Now, I thought I could peek at this on Stampin' Up, but let's see, what's new? New All Together, there it is. So it's called All Together. And when you go to the website, it's in the banner right at the top. And you can buy the sweet collection and get one of each product. That's $105 for all of the blends, the dyes, the paper, and the stamps. And that's number 160941. Okay. Trying to see. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Betsy. It's so nice to have some feedback because I feel like I'm just working without sound or... Anyway, it's nice to have feedback. So these are really, really great, and I'll be sharing projects with these soon. So make sure you check them out on the website. Okay, so we are on February 1st. And this is our last month of celebration. So today we're going to create with Driving By. This will be my featured set this week. And we're going to create um, this cute little bus using our rainbows and sunshine for the bus and Marvelous for my, my layer that is going on my card front. Now these are all free gifts during celebration with a $50 order. So if you've been working on putting together an order, you can select stamps, designer series paper, among other items in our celebration brochure as free gifts for your order. <clears throat> and this continues through February 28th. Okay, so I always like to start with the basics, and that is with my paper trimmer. And today we're just going to make a standard five and a half inch high by a four and a quarter inch wide card. So we're going to score at four and a quarter inches and then we're going to cut at five and a half. <clears throat> we're also going to go ahead and cut this fun blue marvelous to be a card layer at four and inches by five and a quarter. So our layers are usually a quarter inch smaller to create that lovely border around. So you can see that this will be have that outline all the way around when we get to that point. 
that's where we're going anyway. <clears throat> have I showed you the trick? Well, I have showed it, but whether or not you've been here to see it. So you take your trimmer and there's a corner here. There we go. And it's a wonderful 90 degree square that you can press your card base into and then use your bone folder to get that nice, very even fold to your card base. So it's completely square. Isn't that the best feature on a paper trimmer that who knew? It's your card base folding corner. <coughs> all right, I think that's all from my lovely paper trimmer. <coughs> so it's also good to cover the basics about our stamps. Today we're using our red rubber stamps. These are the classic stamps that we've all stamped with for decades. And Stampin' Up! makes these in Utah. And they're factory in Kanab. So these are our stamps are US made, which is one of the things I'm very proud of. I love to encourage Stampin' Up! to use US factories and manufacturing as much as possible. There are definitely some products that can't come from the U.S. I understand that. But this is one that can. So you just take all this backing off, this paper from the foam, and it goes in the trash. <coughs> okay, so I like to go ahead and punch the perforation out. And sometimes I get this done ahead of time. But sometimes I do it live with you. So you can see the basics of prepping your stamps, so forth. Then I take my red rubber outline and I put it right in my case. And this shows me a quick inventory of which stamps go where and that they are all present and accounted for. Today we are going to use a bus, so I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these back in. To use another day. Okay, so I'm going to take my block and put, I'm going to peel the sticker off with the backing still there, and then I'm going to gently pull this off. So the front side is going to always face out and be the top of your stamp. And that's going to go on my block. Now the opposite side that goes onto the foam is super sticky. And it pretty much, once it attaches to something, it stays there forever. So you can see we got our sticker on here. And I'm just going to flip my little car over. <coughs> and line this up right onto the stamp because you can see exact placement of where it's going to be located and looks so slick. I hope that's showing up nicely so you can understand how that works. Then it just peels off and it's all done and you can mount the labels onto all of your stamps with this technique. Isn't that quick and easy? And the placement is so simple. All right, so I'll put my bus aside and then our sentiments. I think we'll use the driving by to say hi. <clears throat> Off. Press it into place on to the block. And you see, it really wanted to stick to my finger because it is super, super sticky. 
All right, then we're going to look down and line that up right onto that foam backing. Give it a good press. And then, there you go. All attached. It's ready to go. All right, so we're going to stick these in here for me to work on after the video. So you don't have to watch me do the whole stamp set. But these are just so helpful to know when you're new to stamping what to do with your stamps and labels and that your blocks are super great tools to help you with arranging them. Okay, I just realized my computer is not plugged in, so let me get my power cord attached properly. Oh my goodness. Bumping and bumping. <clears throat> All right, so if you were to make a card, which which vehicle would be your first pick? Curious to hear from you all. Oh my goodness, I'm having a problem with picking things up today. Do you love the little van bus? the bug or the sports car. They're so cute. So I'm going to ink up my stamp with Memento and I'm going to stamp it directly onto this designer series paper pattern. At least that was my plan. Now I'm rethinking it. I think I'm going to use shimmery white. <laughs> it's so nice to color on. Oh, you never know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go with shimmery white. We're truly stamping live in the moment. All right. I just decided I think I really want to use my blend a little bit more. Grab my paper snips and I'm going to just do a rough cut <clears throat> and put that aside. So then we're going to do a quick fussy cut, which generally this is a super simple image to fussy cut. So we have been working on the trailer studio and finished the ceiling and we finished the ceiling lighting and then my husband and I, mostly my husband, started on attaching the wall boards which I selected bead board for the walls. It's already primed white. Um, has a slightly old vintagey look, but um, I love the efficiency that we can just hang it up as is and keep moving forward. And then someday, if I really want to paint, it is something we can jump in and do. So, um, and then while he was working on that last night, I started wiring some of the outlet boxes with their, um, well, with the outlets. The wiring is already there. We, I set that up weeks and weeks ago, but um, now we can actually, once the wall board's in, then you can attach the outlet box. <clears throat> okay, so there is our cute little bus, and now we can color it. And I'm still in the mood for some granny apple green. So 
got my granny apple green blends and the black light basic black I'll do a, the wheels in so if you haven't tried our blends yet you are missing out they are really easy and make coloring simple <clears throat> And then we also have a color lifter if you go over the edge like I just did. Um, so that you can just pick that up a little bit. And then just wipe it clean on your grid paper as I am. I'm going to use a light balmy blue for the hubcap. There we go. And then I'm going to go in and do the windows in light balmy, balmy blue too. I'm using the pen tip because it's easier to do small spaces with your pen tip. And I like to do the outline first and then fill into the middle. There we go. Okay. Easy, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, let's do our little tailpipe. And I think our lights need a little touch of red in the back. So I'm going to do a little poppy parade for the brake light. And go back to my light balmy blue for the headlight. So we we'll start out with our light bring up a green and actually I'm going to fill in with that. Let's highlight with the dark. And all these edges. Such a cute little car. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to fill in with my light green. green. And now I'm using my brush tip and just touching lightly to go right over those areas to color it all in. Now, what should I do with those vendors? Looks like maybe they should stay white. The bumpers. Okay, I just need to pull a little out of that window. Just that was a lot of little. Oh, she's so cute. 
think I'm going to render a little extra blue there. There we go. Cute little vehicle. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, the trailer is coming along. And might even be hopefully just a couple weeks until we're done. Okay, so here is our little vehicle. And I think I want a little bit of gray. Do you think it needs some gray for the road? I want a gray marble. There we go. I think let's just add a little bit of gray here for our road. And I'm just going to do super quick and easy, just line it up at the bottom corner like that. Flip it over and chop it off. Now our bus has a little road to drive on. You see what I'm doing? Okay. So now we're going to attach this to our code front. And rotate it around. And then a little bit in the middle. <coughs> Sorry, my cat hair. The little one of my little foster kittens, Nova just loves to sit up here on the table and she loves to watch my computer and I think she wants to apply for a job as a stamp kitty and of course we need to use some dimensionals to pop up our cute little car okay, put them down towards the wheel Top. Anyway, so this cute little kitty, she's a black long haired kitty, she and her sister. Anytime I'm sitting here in my chair, she usually is right here with me. <clears throat> and then when I'm not in my chair, the two of them come and sit in my chair, lay, lay in my chair, and make themselves at home. Cracks me up that they wait to come jump in my chair to make themselves at home. All right, so we're just gonna take the Memento Tuxedo Black ink again, and don't stick your finger in it. If you do, wipe it off. <laughs> I'm just gonna stamp it right here in these beautiful blue clouds. Just like that. What do you think? You could also stamp it and then punch it out with our cloud and add um, a little cloud for your sentiment. So if you wanted to do another layer, I'll show you what that would look like. I'm going to just use some, a scrap of basic white and pop it in there as another option. What do you think? Do you like the cloud or just stamping straight on the designer series paper? Isn't that fun that there's options? So many options to, for creating your cards. So fun. 
So if you like this driving by stamp set, then it is free with a $50 purchase of product. And you can order online through myinspiredstamping.com. There's a shopping link at my website. Please use this host code for your order. Oh, you'll, yes. Judy, isn't this the cutest cloud punch? And you could do a row of little clouds or just the one cloud that makes a super cute card. And the sentiment on the cloud is just fun and easy. <clears throat> Celebration only goes for four more weeks. Um, so far, all the products are still available. But be sure that you don't wait to get the ones that are top of your list. Because supplies are only available, or inventory is only available while we have the supplies. That's what I'm trying to say. So fun. All right, let me know if you have any questions or if you need a catalog or a celebration brochure. I'd be so happy to send one to you. I appreciate that you joined me today. I hope that you will like me on like my Facebook page or if you're watching afterwards on YouTube that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, I appreciate when you give me a thumbs up or heart in the um, little emojis. So thank you so much for being here this week and I hope you all take care and come see me next week. Bye bye.